retro episode today. Some of you may get that. Most of you won't. Regardless, today a very interesting little event occurred. Today, the great Anu Vlad was doxxed. Probably, I guess. Really depends on your definition. I'll leave it up to you. But regardless of all of that, personal information, namely my name, was uh, publicly just slapped all over the internet for like a hundred and something people to see and probably more after it's offline. Tonka the Brave, Tonka the Wise, decided to take a video clip that was recorded by somebody else, probably a viable ninja, to show you exactly how you can find my first name. Now, I know that Tonka and Pals may say something along the lines of, we never said that was your first name, so basically you did that to yourself. Well, guess what? Fun fact. Um, I think the majority of people would probably figure out that was my first name. I don't think that's pretty hard to discern. More than that, uh, it was already basically given away on Twitter prior to you even making that video. So it really doesn't matter that much anyway. Also, the people that do know it's my name, well, they know what you did. Most of them are bothered by it. Sickened. Sickened to the core. Whereas, well, quite frankly, a few of them just made excuses. So, ultimately, what is this video about? Well, this video is about how it is that you got assholes on the internet that think it's just hilarious to sit around and whine and bitch and moan about people like AP would roleplay as Tonka's mother using her picture and using her first name and then go and basically do the same thing, sort of, like... See, like, see, this is the thing I don't understand. You see, her name was already exposed a year ago. Her picture was exposed a year ago. Um, all AP did was he grabbed that picture off of fucking Kiwi Farms or Slash Cow or what the fuck ever. That's right, I said Slash Cow. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, I don't pay any attention to that shit. But the point is... That's what he did. It was already known information. And they whined and bitched and moaned, called me a doxer, called him a doxer. He didn't really do any doxing. If anything, he spread information, but it was really just a photograph and a first name. In fact, her first name was Samantha. Huh. Well, there's an awful lot of those. Um... Now, I know some of you might be upset that I SAID HER NAME IN THE VIDEO! But does it really fucking matter? I mean, does it really? Since the video is already up on my channel anyway, and secondly, more than that, as I said, it was leaked over a year ago, right? I mean, hell, you might as well just say my first name. It doesn't fucking matter, does it? Not anymore, because you were the one that fucked it up, Tonka. Well, actually, it was a viable ninja. And then, your stamp of approval. So... Realistically, it's just funny to me that, on one hand, as I said, utilizing a photograph and role-playing as a person, um, utilizing said photograph and uh, name, first name, actually, is doxing, but going through Google and reverse image searching, which took a lot more than a couple of clicks, clicks, by the way, Tonka. I mean, it took a little bit more time than that. I mean, there were several photos that, that were there before that, that somebody did a reverse image search on. So, which by the way, I called a reverse image search. I just didn't realize that Google had that feature, which by the way is very interesting. But beyond that, regardless, somehow doing that, recording it, and then taking that recording and sending it off to Tonkasaw and Tonkasaw playing it on a live stream is somehow or another not doxing, but again, for the third time, a picture of somebody's mother that was doxed a year ago and role-playing as that character utilizing only the first name is somehow. 
So the hypocrisy here is just a pool of absolute hilarity. So yeah, and there's that. But what makes it even funnier is some of the people that know about this, some of the people they're in, man, dude, they're, they're sitting there and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, man. Like, I don't care. Like, that's pretty much where they're at. They don't really seem to care. Like, they sit there and talk about how doxing is so fucking horrible, how nobody should do it. They draw that line in the sand. They go on, and, and, and even some of them would write to me and tell me how sorry they were that, that this was happening and took it very seriously. It's the other camp. It isn't Tonka's camp. And then, for some odd reason, after it occurs, it's my fault because apparently I said I was done with the drama. Now, granted, I did say I was done with talking specifically about Tonka. I never said I was done with drama entirely. And regardless of all of that, there's, Tonka's trying really hard, really hard to, to uh, start a little bloodbath with Jeremy Hambly, which personally I would find entertaining. Um, and not because I'm a fan of Jeremy Hambly, as should be well established by now, and it's not because I'm a fan of the Tonka Saw, which also should be well established. Uh, it's not that at all. It's that I just want to see a bloodbath. I, I want to see a fucking goddamn rodent and another rodent, both with rabies, fighting one another to the death. That's what I, I want to see. So, the point is simply this. I was coming in and I was like, hey, there's these arguments you could utilize, uh, quartering. You could utilize these arguments against Tonka Saw and it would be a funny, uh, a funny thing. Like, it would be hilarious. And Tonka took offense to this and exactly five minutes later started DMing me. But regardless of that, I was like, okay, well, I'll play both sides here, you know. I'm, I'm a, a good sport, so I gave him a little bit of ammunition as well, thinking that he wasn't going to take it personally, he'd see what I was doing, and he had the, the intelligence to be like, that's right, uh, I, wanna, I want him on here, I really do, because after all, Andrew Vlad was just trying to open the door, right? And I wasn't alone, there's several of us that really want to see this. So, regardless of all of that, he got offended, and somehow that means that I was going back into going after Tonka, which I really wasn't, per se, but I can really see how that is quite perceived. So, regardless of all of that, at the very least, it's my fault, right? It's my fault because Anu Vlad got back into the drama with Tonka. It's my fault because Anu Vlad... Open his big, fat, white, trash, meth head of a mouth, right? It's my fault that Tonka Saw the Wise decided to post a video. A video specifically showing people how to find sensitive information on his fucking live stream. How is that my fault exactly? Really? So, I don't know. It's a bit confusing and convoluted, but those people in question saying it was my fault are people like, Antoine the Great, and I don't know, I find that relatively disturbing. He seems to be so against doxing and all that other shit that he justifies this entirely, whilst also complaining about the AP thing previously. It's, 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 it boggles the fucking mind. More than that, also... You got other people that seemingly haven't really said a word you'd think would be bothered by it as well, like Sparky. Nothing. Not a fucking word. Nothing. Right? So, in other words, the people who were against this shit don't seem to be. And whether or not you agree that it's doxing, because I'm not 100% sure if I necessarily agree that it's doxing, Although it just, it is right there on the line. And it really kind of also gives people like a starting point to kind of begin the process of doxing me. If they're really dedicated enough, I'm sure it wouldn't take very much effort. Point is, it doesn't matter. Point is, it's nefarious, fucking desperate, pathetic 
petty bullshit by a man who can't even fuck his goddamn fucking girlfriend because she's too busy fucking every other motherfucking dude around him.